we have got a breaking news right now. Labour Party has got a problem on his hand again because a court has nullified the Labour Party's Alex Uti, nullified his candidature. He is so far the only governor that has emerged on the platform of the Labour Party. But a court is now saying that he was put in that position wrongly. All votes that have been accrued to him is a waste. Problem from all angles. Attacks and more attacks on Labour Party. They really want to make sure that they deprive them of all positions they have won in this concluded election. Let me give you the details that have emanated so far. But before then, please kindly like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel because we're always on top of things that are developing. A court in Kano State ruled that the emergence of Alex Oti and all Labour Party candidates in Abia State and Kano State was not in compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. What does this mean? Everybody who has won on the platform of Labour Party in Abia and Kano State has lost. Justice M. N. Yunusa of the Federal High Court sitting in Kano has nullified the candidature of the Abia State uh, Governor-elect on the platform of the Labour Party, Dr. Alex Zoti, and all the candidates of the party in Abia and Kano states. The court ruled that their emergence was not in compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. The ruling was delivered today according to a copy of the judgment. The court ruling was on suit marked FHC, Kano, and the rest of them, which was filed by one Mr. Ibrahim, Haruna Ibrahim, against the Labour Party and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The court ruled that the Labour Party's failure to submit its membership register to the INEC within 30 days before their primaries rendered the process invalid. Justice Union said the party that has not complied with the provisions of the Electoral Act cannot be said to have candidate in an election and cannot be declared the winner of an election. This being so, the votes credited to Alex Oti is a wasted vote. What do you think of this development? Do you see the hand of ESO in this whole thing? Labour Party competed in 36 states. There is no state where we had that they did not comply and the winning votes annulled. Only in Arabia State, the only state in the whole of Nigeria, where Labour Party won the governorship. And of course, somebody in Kano who is suing in Kano. What has the suit in Kano by one Haruna got to do with the election in Abe State? You see that something is going on here. Somebody is playing some games. Only one governor they have. Now they have found the reason that they did not comply. They didn't submit their register 30 days before the election. But they submitted in uh, Sokoto State, in Kasena State, in Kwara, Enugu, everywhere. Only in Abia State where they won the election. They can't just afford to see this party. I mean, assume any position in Nigeria. If they win, it's a problem. If they don't win, it's still a problem. In fact, they have to take them off at the point, at the point of voting, either by rigging the election. And if they manage to survive, they still go to court. And, and this one is so quick, so very, very quick. This is the only governor. This is the only judgment they have delivered. So quick. 
the presidential election, they are still on the stage of Finec bringing the documents. How come all the documents were now complete to render judgment in uh, Kano State and Abia State? But the presidential election, we are just beginning. So fast a judgment, if the electoral tribunals work like this all over Nigeria, it will be hooray, we won't have any problem. Because Alex OT will be installed very soon. So how are they going to solve this one now? Because his votes are invalid, the person who came second will now probably assume the position and become the winner of the election. Is that the, what the plan is? In this state, so many things played out during that election. One woman refused to dance to the tune of the day, saying, I must declare the result the way it is. Nobody can influence it. They took the result, went to Abuja, did all the things they could do, that's of Abia and the Enugu state. Eventually, eventually, they didn't know what to or how to manipulate the vote for Abia state because the governor's local government area was turning in thousands of votes, over 80,000, when the normal return from that area is less than 20. And they couldn't just find a way to push that through. Eventually, OT emerged. And now, within two months of that election, he's also not a validly elected governor. His votes have now been, I mean, declared invalid. So every effort the people of Abia State made to bring him there is now in vain. What a system, what a country that we live in. But you know these things, you don't lose heart, don't lose hope, because this is just the beginning. The legal battle will continue. I don't know why they gave the judgment in Kano, not in Abia State. So, Obviously, there will going to be appeal, and Alex Oti will be sworn in, and from that position, the battle will continue. This is right now, out of the press, this news, and we decided to bring it to you immediately. Please, like this video, help us share it, help us spread it, please. We really need you to subscribe to this channel, so that we'll bring you this kind of updates always. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next one.